Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gavin and this time around we're doing Cyanotype from a mobile phone. If you're a beginner or advanced, I've got something for you in this video. If you're starting out, if you want to know which papers to use, how the whole process works, I go through everything. There's chapter markings in the video so you can skip to the pieces you want to see. So let's get started. I actually ran out of tape, so I'm just going to put a line across here, which is 11 inches this way. I mean, it's pretty much the same. I'm going to make swear prints of 10 and a, 10 and a half on either side. Uh, this side, I won't have any emulsion. Yeah, it's like 5 in the morning when I'm doing this. It's the only time I get to do stuff like this. The paper I'm using, I'm using this Dalla Rane paper at A2, which is huge. You can see the size here. Uh, the advantage of this is it's cheaper to buy uh, in this size and you can just your flexibility of what you want to do with the paper especially when you're using the, the, the UV box that I made. I'll put a link up below up there somewhere for the uh, UV box if you haven't seen that already. So next I want to talk about brushes. I have two brushes. One I use for um, Van Dyke Brown and this one I use for Cyanotype which you can clearly see. And these are both a Hake type brush. Of course you can use foam brushes, that's no problem. And I use a dedicated tray. I use this little glass tray, which I have for years. And I use, these are my, excuse me, my A and B for my chemicals. And I'll mix those in before we start. And I'll turn the lights down a bit. So I'm going to make take my image, a self-portrait, a bit of a crazy self-portrait of myself and I'm going to make a cyanotype with just uh, a cyanotype negative with the mobile phone and with the printer. So first I go in and edit. I'm using Android. Uh, I just go into my filters. Uh, I will just change it to black and white or contrast. Contrast is too much you can see. Somewhere like that, looks good. So either the black and white or the contrast one, you want black and white. Then we want a bit of adjustment. So we want a bit more contrast than that. So we have a bit more blacks. So we just take down the brightness here. So we use this program called Pixar, uh, you can download this for free, and then you go in here, select the photo you want. So I'm going to choose this one. Uh, we will go into the first icon here. We're going to go to rotate, we're going to do horizontal. We go into the one in the middle here, and we choose the, the second icon here, and then we have negative. So now we have a nice negative. Our blacks aren't really black in that. But so we go back to our tools and I think I would like a little bit more contrast in that. It's too much. Just a tad bit. Hey, yeah. Not too much. Okay. So now I'm ready. So I'm going to save it. Save this, save my image. I'm going to save it in the maximum setting. So in my printer application, I'm using the TS700 printer. Uh, I don't know what inkjet you have, but you need an inkjet that has wireless and that can print directly from your phone. And this one does that, it's a Canon. So, so I have my transparency loaded here the back of the printer so that's loaded here and I have the side here that prints on the shiny side to the back so because the head will print on, the head of the printer will print on this so we're going to go print settings and our media type I use matte photo paper uh, I'm going to change my color type are to monochrome or my color mode to monochrome it's a4 if you're in the states it'll probably be letter size um, okay just go back go to print 
and that should start printing. So once that's printed, you need to let it dry for uh, maybe 10 minutes or so. And then you're ready to use that on, this, on your cyanotype process or a Van Dyke Brown process or a salt paper print process. So that's all you need to make a negative for alternative photography processes, a mobile phone and a printer that has wireless. Then this is an inkjet printer. If, it is, if there's any lines or it doesn't turn out black and white, make sure the head of your printer is clean and all those uh, things. So this looks pretty okay. So I've prepared a few more images. As you can see, this is the original on the phone. Then it converted to black and white. Then we flip it around and we make a negative. Again, this was a street shot from the mobile phone, flipped around and turned to negative. So I'll make cyanotypes of all these as well, just for fun. The next stage is to expose the sensitive paper with the negative in a UV box, which I made some time ago. I've been using it ever since. Uh, just gonna turn it on here see and that will take a good five minutes so after five minutes I remove my glass the negative and now I'll need to wash this and then we'll see the magic happen so it's going to take some time before before actually that nice blue color comes through A bit of washing, but you see it's coming out nice, quite nice. You can also tone tone your images with black tea. Uh, there's various different toning methods, but I think I'll cover that in another video. So I'm gonna wash this for a good 10 minutes. That's come out very nice. These images were taken on a mobile phone uh, and it kind of gives you newer possibilities, you know, to make cyanotypes, um, you know, on the go, uh, if, especially if you've got kind of a busy life. So I'll turn on the lights. Once I'm kind of happy, all the yellow, yellowish color has kind of gone off the cyanotypes, because that's what you want. You want to get them. You get any kind of patch of yellow or a tint of yellow. You want to get this off the print, and then it's pretty much developed with water. There will will be some darkening um, usually after dry down. So the next day, when when you look at the prints, they might be darker. Uh, that's something to take into account. coming up quite nice now um, that's certainly coming quite nice that's coming up lovely I got my pencil mark here I'm gonna have to rub that out or redo it but yeah plenty of detail love the shadows awesome So I'm actually going to try out these two different papers to give you an idea of texture. Uh, one of them is the Ca uh, Canson uh, Montebal Toron, okay, and the other one's a water uh, a watercolor paper, an Acrello uh, Artistico Fabiano. Okay, so I'll tell you which ones they are now that we're washing them, and you can see the te textures. So over here. Um, this one here is the Canson, and this one is the Fabiano. 
Um, the, the textures are very nice in this. It's a bit rough. This one's a bit more kind of cloudy and soft. So you can see uh, they were same exposure times uh, and you get an idea uh, that you need to take into account how paper works with this chemical and what kind of effect. So you find the paper you love and and both of these have, have a different feeling to them. I gotta wash that a little bit. You gotta wash these papers quite a lot because uh, you gotta get the, the yellow out of it. But don't wash it, overwash it because then it... Uh, it's, still, it's, it's a little bit greeny here. Just wanna wash that out, that will go. Uh, and you can see the texture on the Fabiano. It's lovely, it's really nice. Whereas this one is m much lighter in contrast, but softer. So dark, soft. So it's a good. Uh, so find the paper you love. Um, that was the other one from the mobile phone, a street photo. And the other thing about uh, cyanotypes is, of course, br uh, brush strokes, um, which make the edging quite nice. Especially, I like this one very much. So. These will be my, my final prints. Uh, I might do a Van Dyke brown over one of these. If uh, anybody's interested, uh, let me know down in the comments and I'll do a follow-up. And that's the other one here. You can see that's quite light as well, but that'll darken up. This might darken up too much in the dry down. Uh, we'll see that when we do the final scans. So plenty, plenty of, of lovely images. Uh, yeah really happy with the results hitting the thumbs up is a free way to support this channel also comments or even to donate it's a small channel and any help or feedback encourages me to make more videos like this If you haven't already subscribed please hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the little notification bell and hope to see you on the next video goodbye